How's it going everyone? This is Tom, and today I've got the second episode of Tweak Week. This is the show where we go over the top jailbreak tweaks of the week. I've got four to show you today, so let's head straight in. The first one we're taking a look at is called Multidock, and this, as you can see, lets you kind of just add uh, rows and columns to your dock. Kind of a little bit expensive at $1.99, however, you can uh, do some things which you can't do with things like Spring Tomize. So, if you're looking for some customization in your dock, you can do quite a lot with this one to so just add like six things into your dock. But to be honest, it can be done with other tweaks. I just thought I'd show you this in case you wanted to maybe really customize the dock with two rows or three rows or four rows, etc. The next one we're taking a look at is called Custom Grid. Now this is a kind of an updated jailbreak tweak actually. Uh, it's a very old tweak which kind of less just lets you um, implement columns and rows into your home screen. As you can see, I'm not a huge fan of the five row layout on the iPhone 5. So I've just changed it to a four row layout and it looks really slick. And I've just really like it like this. Uh, I prefer it to the standard layout so I've done it like that. You can customize all of that from the settings. You can also customize the dock the switcher, there's a whole load of stuff you can customize with this jailbreak tweak. So a very cool tweak and one you can check out in Cydia right now. Next up we have Direction Bar. Now basically this just kind of gives you a live compass in your status bars. You can see this will change according to uh, where you are or what direction you're facing, I guess. Uh, not particularly useful, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I would personally would never use this. I've, I don't think I've even opened the Compass app ever on my iPhone 5. However, if you're needing it, this is probably going to be very useful for you if you constantly need to uh, check the direction or <laughs> where north is or something like that. Hasn't been the best week for tweaks this week. <laughs> Finally, we'll finish off with Flusterless. Now, this kind of just gives you a toggle on your lock screen, which allows you to toggle Do Not Disturb on or off, and it does it in this really kind of sleek way. You just simply swipe in from the side just like this, and it will either toggle it on or toggle it off, depending whether it's on or off or not. Tongue twister right there. Very sleek animations and especially useful if you use the Do Not Disturb toggle on your device a lot. There we have it, there's a selection of some of the best jailbreak tweaks of the week. If you don't know, Gridlock was actually updated to iOS 6, but I don't know if that really counts and also I thought it was a bit similar to Custom Grid, so definitely check that one out as well. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.